Hi, I'm back and I want to show you a couple of ways that our team uses Trello for collaboration and work coordination. The first I want to show you is uh, our core team um, main board and in this board we use it for project management. So the first use of uh, Trello, which is pretty common, is for project management. You can do team coordination, you can do task planning and coordinate different things, respond to requests or to questions, you can interact on tasks that are done or not done, and you can, um, you know, post your, your pictures up here uh, and indicate who has done what task. Uh, lots of useful features, of course, I mentioned to you that you can set the due date. Uh, we even put, for example, a parking lot to uh, capture and to catch anything that we yet to talk about and you know put in our meeting agenda and we've highlighted a few key prayer requests so in this um, main board our team works you know across and, and understands you know what's going on in moving our mission ahead the next use is in uh, the organizing of ideas well, you can arrange your thoughts. Uh, imagine it's like a white, large whiteboard that you scribble and organize your thinking. You can brainstorm. In this case, uh, we're talking about vetting innovation ideas. What would be our criteria? Uh, what are our philosophies? And you can always, you know, add new things. You know, new thinking. Whoops, I got that wrong. You know, and basically contribute to that whole process of idea shaping uh, and you can scribble anywhere you can add new lists and you can put some notes uh, and even attach some articles uh, that you can read to help you in your thinking and finally the third way that we've used it that we find quite useful is in, in some ways like a database of sorts here you see um, you know, almost many, many boards uh, list rather that list down, you know, the VLM uh, strategies around the world. And we put a few key pictures to help us, you know, put a face to the names. And, you know, it allows us to track what's going on in some parts of the world. Uh, and, you know, we can manipulate and we can the data or information and ability to move things around easily. Well, so, you know, this helps you organize in some ways uh, versus a spreadsheet that sometimes is a little bit harder to, to uh, play around with. And this is very dynamic and allows you to organize uh, your thoughts, uh, your database. Okay. Well, I, I really like Trello because uh, it really allows you to, you know, continue to have the uh, collaboration uh, virtually uh, wherever you are and locked into the computer anybody can contribute to ideas by their comments or their inputs uh, I want to highlight to you a few things that I didn't mention in the last video and just two quick things you notice this bar here can be shut very simply by going near and clicking this you can pull it back up by doing this and closing it again so you get more real estate to play around with okay and one final thing I'll show you is this search and filter cards which is really powerful uh, as your board and as your list grow sometimes it's kinda hard to look for certain things and you need to look for something really quick I know that in this board there's something about a blog and there you go you can read more about the blog here or the content for the blog uh, I know that you know I need to you can search for tasks that's all done by let's say Ken. See? There he is. So this search and filter is really powerful. You can search it by what is urgent and needs attention or partnership potentials, uh, multiple variables that you can put in here. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy Trello and let us know how you've been using it and enjoying it. Thank you.